how to see through the idea of that you're a separate self in the world. I just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, there's a real pull to come out, even though I've just shot one. So I'm just going to bang this out and see what happens. How would I help somebody to self-realize? And all that is, is to see through the idea of who you are to the truth of who you are. And even that idea of the truth of who you are is a bit tricky. Language is tr We'll just say the truth of who you are for now. So, what do I mean by the truth of who you are? The unified self, the unbound self, the one that isn't um, pushed and pulled by the mind, body and emotions. Uh, you know, is pretty much free of suffering in that state. And that's really my drive for helping people. Um, and I'm playing in the world of duality here, helping people, because actually there are no others. In the other way, other perspective of looking at life, that we are just life and we're all one and there are no others. So it's almost like a dance that we play in both worlds, um, that we we have the option, we have the potential to be unbound and pure potential and just open to what's happening in the moment. But we also have the potential to experience separation and how to help people who are experiencing separation and are not experiencing unity. What I tend to do is to get people to write down their I thoughts that are um, causing them to suffer. So, you know, you could try this yourself. So to write down all the things that um, are annoying you that are feeling like a push and pull. And that gives us some idea of what the mind is telling you. So it could be, um, I've had an, I'm fed up of trying to wake up. Um, why am I suffering? Why is my life awful? Why am I not um, waking up? Why is, um, Why are other people annoying me? Why are why is my life not working? Why do I find it hard? Um, why am I I've got all this stuff to clear before I wake up? Um, I've got to do lots of. I, I am not worthy of waking up. I think I had that one. I just thought David Bingham might think, "Why are you calling me?" <laughs> So, yeah, it's funny what the mind, the conditioning is offering you. So write all those things down on paper and then have some way of accessing your direct experience, which is what I call your guiding light. And I think I have my beginner series um, explains that. So it's just this way of being able to open up your focus. So you're stepping out of that mind, body and emotional realm, the contracted sense of self where the mind and the body and the emotions are all the show. And when you open up your focus, it's like you're opening up to the potential of uh, the unbound you. The more, um, hmm, more, that's interesting, because you can't be any more or less the self, the unbound self. But it's as if we can uh, play degrees of it. You never leave that, you never, you never are bound. You can just have a bound experience. So opening up to the truth of who you are, opening up to your true nature, opening up to the broader perspective and dropping back and down into the body. That way you've got some sort of expansive feeling. There's like potential. Hang on a minute here. There's a chance to look in a different way. There's a chance to have a little look at what's actually the truth of these I thoughts that we've got down and then what I do is I get somebody very very deep down into this ground of being I talk them down 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 into the body I show them the boundaries of the body and how we can't find them I'm skipping through it quite quickly here but I spend quite a lot of time just making sure that they they're experiencing on that broader level that more open view impersonal awareness and then we ask the question, so who is the one that is suffering these thoughts? 
and I'll go to the individual ones, then like, who wouldn't be waking up? And when we ask from there, they can't find the one that's not waking up. So it shows them the potential. We're not negating the experience that you're having when you feel like you're separate, because that is the one self having that experience. So there is no negating that. But we're just having a look from this open view. Because there is this unmanifested, pure potential for being. And there is the contracted, more denser, personal feeling of a self, a personal self. So a question with them, all those I beliefs, and we might have a little look at, um, you know, the, the things that may be playing out in a bigger scale, like um, approval, control, um, security, you know, money, um, you know, and it tends to be we're trying to rearrange our life to feel better. So we're trying to rearrange this out here that feels like it's outside of us. It's pretty impossible, <laughs> can I tell you? Because we're trying to control something that we're not able to control that just is happening. We're trying to um, seek approval. We're projecting if you just do what I want you to do. We can't get other people to do what we want them to do. That's that's actually quite nuts, <laughs> but we think we can. We want to because we feel we're separate and we feel we need to control. It's completely understandable and there's no blaming anybody for that. We've all done that. So uh, the biggest ticket is I am separate. And really, I am. It's just that you are impersonal being, having a I am separate experience. And that's where the suffering is. So, yeah, there's a bit of a dance between looking at what's actually here in our direct experience and then just opening up and allowing to see that that push and pull and what's been playing out, the conditioning. Let's just have a little look at this conditioning. Let's not go too deep. Let's not make it too big. Let's not make it into something it isn't. But let's not deny it. Let's just open up. Let's open our arms to it. Let's look from wisdom and love rather than that sort of control, fear, um, bound feeling. So that's just a little bit of how I um, talk to people about um, how the potential we have to not suffer our mind, body and emotions. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.